car really grabs the eye, people will definitely are like, yeah, yeah. It's certainly not stealth, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Hey man. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Pretty good. Nice and smooth. Car's sounding good. Yep. I'm loving that red interior. I got the wheel on I here. I see that too. Yeah. That fits in pretty well. Yeah, it does, huh? You want to come on in? Yeah, for sure. What actually is this space? It's sort of my man cave where I, I keep my toys, my cars, and it's my out of control hobby space. What actually is this space? It's sort of my man cave where I, I keep my toys, my cars, and it's my out of control hobby space. So uh, <laughs> I've kind of been fortunate enough to have more room than I really needed, which enabled me to get more cars than I ever thought I would be able to own. If I had more space, I would definitely start acquiring more cars. That would be cool. <laughs> We've got to get you more space. How did you end up in that car? Five, six years ago, I was like, you know what, I'm young and you never know what could happen. I want to. You gotta live for the moment. Right? Yeah, I'm just gonna get this thing and, and see how it goes. So <laughs> that was it. Yeah. Had you driven one before you bought that? Nah. Really? Nope. This is one of my favorites. This right here. Yeah. Yeah, this is perhaps the most performance oriented build I've done to date. It pumps out a conservative 320 horsepower. Like a faster version of skateboarding pro. <laughs> Much faster. You know, you tell me about this one here. Yeah, this is a 67S. This is actually the year I was born, so that'll tell you how old I am. The interior of this car inspired the interior of the shoe that you're wearing. You notice one side's got the blue tan, the other side's got the red, so it came right from here. I'm not a big fan of shiny new on anything. For me, it's a tactile, comfortable thing. I don't like to be restricted, you know, sort of tied down to anything. You know, I like the freedom of movement, and this is all about freedom of movement. Especially this one, 277. This is the second 911 I ever bought, which is a 1971 911T. So this car is 50 years old. I bought it at the Pomona Swap Meet in 1999, 22 years ago. The car developed over time. It wasn't like I threw a bunch of money at it and said, let's go racing. It's beat up, it's got character, it's got patina. Believe it or not, originally this car was not red, white, and blue. It left the factory in that shade of gold paint right there. 277 is a purely random number. It doesn't mean anything. I just wanted a race number with sevens in it. And I don't name my cars. This one's a silver one, that's a blue one, but yeah, this is 277. Yeah, this is the baby. This is it. If someone says to me, hey, you can only keep one out of all your cars without a hesitation, without even questioning it, 277 is a car. Damn. That's kind of the, the story of the car, and that became the inspiration for the shoe. Holy shit. This is it. You can drive right in, yep. just like you said. This was my very first sketch of what I actually did. The goal behind the shoe really was to add elements of the car. And you can see we did maintain the Union Jack. We have the 277 insole. And the shoe didn't really change drastically. This was the very, very first sample. I even got a Sharpie out and did the black outline around 277 because initially it didn't have it. And the shoe's designed to age sort of like the car is. You know, that scuffs away to gold, which was the original color of the car. And for me, that's sort of the joy of the car is, is the DNA behind it. I would definitely say that other than skateboarding, cars and driving is probably my second biggest passion. I, I literally love it. it. Like brings me so much joy. Are you ready for your drive? <laughs> yeah, of course. I'll find a pulling spot over the bridge and uh, get you some seat time. Uh... Here we go, rock and roll. Yeah, this thing's nice. How's it feel? 